Okay, let's try to get another one in with tribal constructs here in modern. Yes, we would like to play first against R. Leon or Leon, depending on where he's from. Um, yeah, this is like a fairly decent curve. Um, this allows us to attack for a whole bunch on turn two, five, if we wanted to. But um, we could also just play a Vakar site. I'm going to base that on if we draw an Aether Vial. We do not. So, since we have not drawn this, I will just cast the Apocrysite, which is fine. And maybe pass the Memnite to avoid getting attacked. Yep. Smelled that one coming. This is good. Gets us to. We could like uh, play hanger back on two next turn. You know, his plan only saves him a couple life, really, because. I mean, it's not like we don't have another creature and we have these, these mutavolts, so. Jungle Shrine. Okay, some kind of a Naya deck. That's cool. Good to see Trilands doing some work in Modern. Okay. Could also just Thought Cast here. Pass that then. Alright, I guess he waited to see if we were going to activate our. Mute Vault. So now that he's used two paths, he's less likely to have another way to exile the hanger back, so makes it better and now. Mountain. Holy Thokdar, do it, man. <laughs> Sensei Golden Tail. WTF is this? Huh, okay. It makes things have Bushido. That's cool. Tom. <laughs> Tomb of the Spirit Dragon. Um going to do this first. Divination back, basically. Okay, into another vault and an Aether Vial. Play Aether Vial. And... I think I'm going to attack because the worst thing that happens is he trades off and we get in four damage. If he blocks hanger back we can just get it back anyway. I have three mutavolts, so not really terribly worried about losing one. Okay. No blocks is a little surprising. Honor of the pure. Does make him able to eat something. Was this another white creature? Okay, so this is another guy like that, okay. Okay, we'll play another mutable. Play another thought cast. Hmm. Could insole my aether vial doesn't seem to be doing much else. And I have another Aether Vial in my hand, so I think I'm fine with that. And 
and I do feel like chump attacking is fine to push damage in this situation. If he blocks, you know, he's going to be, if he doesn't block this thing, he's going to be taking a lot, so, alright, that's fine. Blocking hanger back is a shock. Definitely should have blocked this. That was really, I think, a bizarre idea. Why give me flying attackers? If you're going to play small ball, you really got to think things through. And, uh, you know, you got to know the difference between when when to get value and uh, you know when you're racing okay I could also upkeep put hanger back on top but I don't want to do that because I'd rather draw cranial plating. Pocrosite. So if I attack with everything, he takes two, and he can block three. So bolt is like really bad for me. if I play it that way. But I'm still so far ahead. I think it's fine. What just happened? Oh, okay. Um... Okay, it takes four, goes to one. Yeah. I mean, opponent was blocking for value the whole game, and he should have been perhaps trying to deal with the big threat and maybe blocking in a way to protect his life total to the best. It's kind of what I call like not respecting your opponent's deck like when you don't think that their clock is fast enough but really we had a lot of pressure on him so he probably should have played that out differently. You now here I imagine we're going to get completely hosed by a sideboard. Um, and we don't have one, so I don't even really want to play out another game, but we'll do it. I'll do it for y'all. Okay. This hand, I'm not as sure about, but we'll keep it. Hopefully we'll just draw into more creatures. That that makes the hand a lot better. Cause now I can be reasonably certain that this plating will stick to something. Um technically I could have 
cast Vile and Viled one of them in end of turn. So that was probably wrong because I gave him more information this way. But all right, so that kind of stymies our Memnites for now, unfortunately. Hand would have been a lot better on the play. Let's tick up our vial. I think here I'm just gonna play another vial and pass. I don't really really want to just leave cranial plating sitting out there to be destroyed. I'd rather wait till I can play it and equip it all in the same turn. It just makes it a lot better that way. Alright, opponent got big blocker going on there. Okay, Apocrisite is nice. Um, so here, in order to use up my mana, I will play the plating kind of begrudgingly and pass back. I get to violin Apocrisite as a 4-4 and equip a plating to it. O-ring on my plating probably could go for a vial here all right no that's fine attack okay well hopefully apocrysite doesn't get pathed here because this is this is a beating if this sticks Nice. Okay. Okay. Um here I'll play another plating. So if he blocks, oh, he can't use the ability. So it becomes a 2-5. And then our chief pumps our Apocrisite to a 5-5. Five five. And we get rid of his opal eye. And now we're <laughs> in really good shape. dies. I don't even know what that does, but um, it doesn't win the game. <laughs> I, he didn't even give me a chance to read that, so anyways, peace.